Here we have a couple of eye models. This eye model still has the eyelids on it. Um, eyelids are also called palpebrae, and these structures up here represent the lacrimal glands. The lacrimal glands produce tears that wash over the eye. Let's look over at this model. From the outside, all of this tough connective tissue that is represented as white is sclera. This is the sclera. The white of your eye is the sclera. Now, in a living organism, over the surface of the sclera and lining the eyelids would be a very thin epithelial tissue that is called the conjunctiva. And it is the conjunctiva that has blood vessels in it, uh, bringing nutrients to the surface of the sclera. These muscles that are on each side of each eyeball are called the extrinsic muscles of the eye. In the very front of the eye, this very clear structure is called the cornea. That's the cornea. Coming out the back of the eye, you will find the optic nerve. Now, if we open up our eye model, we can see that there is a space between the cornea and the colored part of the eye, which is called the iris. And this is called the anterior chamber of the eye. The iris is made out of muscle. When it contracts one set of muscles, it makes the hole in the center of the iris smaller. The hole in the center of the iris is called the pupil. So contracting some fibers, will make the pupil smaller, contracting other fibers will make the pupil larger. The blood vessel and muscle layer of the eye is called the choroid layer. Now if we open it up a little bit more, we can start to see some detail of the inside of the eye. So out here, this was the iris, and in here, this is more muscle smooth muscle. And this smooth muscle is called the ciliary muscle. The ciliary muscle is attached to this clear structure called the lens by these little white connective tissue strings that are called suspensory ligaments. The ciliary muscle, when it contracts, it actually releases tension on the suspensory ligaments, which allows the lens to change shape, which lets you focus on reading very small print. When the ciliary muscle relaxes, it causes tugging on the suspensory ligaments, which pulls the lens into a flattened shape so that you can focus on things at a distance. This clear plastic part of our eye model represents the substance that is found in the posterior chamber. And this substance is called the vitreous body. On the back of the eye, we would find all of the rods and cones of vision, along with lots of other nerve cells, neurons, that are carrying action potentials from the rods and cones down the optic nerve and back to your brain. This whole area back here would be considered the retina. The beginning of the optic nerve, this is the optic nerve, the beginning of the optic nerve is the optic disc, and the, on the optic disc there is no room for rods or cones, and this is why every human has got a blind spot in the back of their eye. So